hello guys i hope you are all fine today in this tutorial we're gonna talk about two epidemiological studies called nested case control studies and case cohort studies we're gonna talk about their features how to perform what are their differences and what, uh, what merits do they have uh, so follow us uh, for the answers of these questions First, let's review epidemiological studies. We all know that we have three kinds of epidemiological studies. Co cohort studies, case control studies, and cross-sectional studies. The very two specific sub-types of case control studies are nested case control studies and case cohort studies. Uh, which are uh, where uh, which are actually a combination of cohort studies and case control studies. First, let's talk about nested case control studies. You know, in nested case control studies, first we have this cohort of people. You know, you know what cohort means. By cohort, I mean these. Uh, people with the same characteristics for example all of these people live in a particular village or a town and are selected for an epidemiological studies what you do in a nested case control study is to just collect any d data that are related to these people for example you ask uh, about their uh, sex their age their uh, marital status and uh, for, uh, for example you, you can even uh, uh, ask uh, you can take some blood samples or urine samples and keep in freezers for further usage at the uh, at the end of this study so uh, the next step is that you as a doctor in the village stay for the first person to just contract the disease you know this is our first case you know this first case for example suppose that we are uh, just uh, looking for and assessing if there is any relationship between common cold and uh, contracting uh, and common cold contracting and uh, smoking you know and this first case becomes ill what we do next is that we use we choose three more people from our cohort which have not contracted this disease and have the same characteristics of our case you know what happens here is very important and uh, and what happens is that there is a, a there is an individual match simultaneously a time match you know exactly at the time that the case is found you find three other people that have exactly the same features of our case these two uh, features are the main features of the nested case control studies so what happens next you know the next person contracts the common cold what you do is that you just find three other people that are exactly the same at that particular time to our person for example they're of the same age they are of the same uh, for example marital status and then uh, just uh, choose them for further uh, examination for again another case develops the disease and what we do is to find three other controls from our cohort with the same characteristics at the same time when our cases and controls are sufficient for data analysis we just start our analysis so what we do is uh, is to just find uh, the prevalence of smoking in our case group based on the information that we've gathered at the beginning of the study and the prevalence of smoking in our control group uh, who have uh, based on again based on the study that we uh, collected at the beginning of the study you might ask that what, what uh, should we use uh, and choose three people as controls 
You know, the fact is that any of these three people might contract the disease at the end of the study and themselves become the case. So we must have someone else to replace them, you know. So that's why that we do not use uh, just one controls for our case, but at least three of them. So now let's talk about case cohort study, you know, as its name suggests. Again, there uh, we have this cohort of the people with the same characteristics living in, a, for example, a village or town. We collect every information about them. Uh, for example, from the health system and just, for example, collect some uh, urine samples or blood samples and just uh, keep them in the freezers for further examination at the end of the study. So what happens next is that again some cases appear. But here we do not have any time match and we do not have any uh, individual match. I mean that when the first case is appeared, we do not choose a, a three controls for him. But wait for other cases. The second case uh, is uh, just referred to us, the third case referred to us. And when the amount of our cases are sufficient, then we start to collect our control. But what type of matching is performed here? Here we have group matching. And based on group matching, we choose other uh, controls of our study based on the information that we have collected on our uh, about our cohort in the first uh, very first um, time of study so uh, here so we uh, just learned that the very uh, important difference between case cohort study and nested case control study is that case cohort study has the group match and the nested case control study has individual or time match i mean the case cohort study in case cohort studies it controls are not uh, just uh, chosen uh, at the same time that the cases appear but at the end of this study when all cases appear but you might ask what exactly is group matching you know group matching uh, is used for uh, uh, quality variables for example uh, suppose that in our case group we have 80 percent men you know 80% of our cases are men so group match says that we must use our control group in a way that again 80% are men or for example if 40% of our cases are over 40 years old again we must choose our control study in a way that uh, 40% of our uh, controls are over age of 40, you know, 40 years. So uh, that's exactly what case cohort study and nested case control studies are. And we just talked about their differences. Uh, you know, these two studies are very effective. They are much more time saving than the classical cohort studies which are much more long-lasting need uh, and need a, more, a lot of samples and a lot of follow-up takes lots of time but these core studies are much more efficient in case of time and uh, just uh, price uh, remember that these two types of study are case control studies not cohort studies but have something in common with cohort studies as well thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe us thank you